Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get an amazing application called BTV to your Fire Stick or Android TV. That's an app that loads of people use to watch movies or TV shows online. Here I had to blur out my screen because YouTube does not allow me to show you the exact movies available in the app. But trust me, there's plenty of great and top class movies. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get that app to your device. So first of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it totally for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we just need to go to search on your device. So click on that magnifying glass. Then there is going to be a search bar in which we need to start typing Downloader. And as you can see, Downloader already popped out for us at the bottom. So there was even no need to enter whole name of the app. We click on Downloader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get Downloader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up Downloader, we'll go to Settings. Let's do it. Click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and click on My Fire TV. There, you'll need to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So, if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. To do so, just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. Now, as you can see, for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just appeared right here. So, open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and from here, locate and loader and make sure to turn that option on. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now we have to go to the list of apps on your device. And there it is, open it. And there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to United States right now. And for the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta open the loader app, right here, wait until it loads for us. Then, on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home, that's really important. You have to click on Home and not on Browser. And there, in that search bar, we gotta enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the whole code is 2, 8, 9, 0, 7. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen, and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make any mistake, the code is not going to work. After that, we have to click on Go and wait until website opens up for us. And while it loads, make sure to subscribe my channel for more content on Fire Sticks and of course hit the like button below the video to help us develop our channel and get even more content like that for you. Then when the website opens, we just have to scroll down a bit until we see a list of categories. And from the list, we have to click on Movies and TV, which is right here, click on it. Then a huge list of apps is going to open up for you. 
and there we just need to scroll down a bit until we find BTV, which is right here. So click on BTV, then some kind of ad might pop up for you. If it does pop up, do not click on open because that would mess everything up for you. Instead, click on close to close down the ad. Then a new web page should open up. Yep, there it is. And we also have to scroll it down. Keep scrolling until you see that download button. That's exactly what we're looking for. But if for some reason it doesn't work for you and the download does not start, you can always use the backup download link, which is just below the usual download button. So for now, let's click on download. And now in a couple of moments, the app download is going to start. As you can see, for me, it's happening really fast. But of course, it all depends on your connection speed. Then you have to click on install right here. We click on it and wait until BTV is installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV, depending on your device, of course. After that, do not click on open yet. Instead, press on done, cause here we have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't really need it anymore on our device. So we click on delete and then delete once again. This way we are saving up some free space for our Fire Stick and that's really important because we don't really have too much of free space on our Fire Stick devices. After that, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. Then scroll down to the very bottom and there you'll find BTV, which we just installed. Now, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way, BTV is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. Once again, you can use my link below the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com to get three months of service totally for free. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.